When it comes to music production, and especially music production software, as you can imagine, there's tons of price ranges. I've seen some music production software that's as cheap as just $1, and then I've seen some music production, just simple plugins that are thousands upon thousands of dollars. There's a huge price difference between a lot of music production software. And one of those softwares is Ableton. One of the biggest questions that I get is what music production software I use or my main program when it comes to making music and it is Ableton. I love Ableton. Ableton is one of, if not the best music production program out there just to make music in general. It's unbelievable. And there's three different versions of Ableton you can buy. So when you're looking at Ableton Live, you may be like, huh, which one should I get? Now, as you can see, there's the intro, standard, and suite. At least at the time of this video, they just came out with Ableton 11, which I'm super excited about. Ableton Live 11 is unbelievable. Way more features than Ableton 10. I've been loving it. But you may be wondering like, huh, should I get the intro, which is only $99? Should I get the standard, which is $449? Or lastly, the full-on suite, the full program for $749. These are all the key features that you get with each program in terms of the intro, standard, and full-on suite. So as you can see, the more money that you spend, as you can imagine, the more features you're gonna get. Now you may be wondering like, okay, that all makes sense, but which one should I get? Now here's my best suggestion. First off, I think start with the intro model. For $99, you get an amazing program don't get me wrong, it's very limited in a lot of the stuff it can do, but at least that way you're like, look, I can get the intro program. And in addition, in case you didn't know, you can always upgrade, which is good. So you can always start an intro, and let's say you're like, look, I'm loving Ableton, I'm loving making music, I'm gonna upgrade to the standard or the suite version. But I think in the beginning, especially like say if you're just kind of dabbling with making music, whether you wanna produce hip hop or electronic or whatever, I think starting with the intro isn't a bad idea. Another thing I will say is that they do have payment plans. And as you can see with this little note, it says pay in monthly installments with no additional fees, no credit checks, no paperwork, only available with a Visa or MasterCard credit card. With the intro version, it's $16.50 for six months. With the standard version, it's roughly about 75 bucks for six months. And then lastly, with the full on suite, it's $125 for six months. It's the full amount, but just in monthly installments. So to me, that's actually a great thing that let's say if you're like, look, I really wanna get sweet. I really wanna take music production seriously. And I'm gonna be honest for me, especially being a big music producer and producing music for years and years now, I could never use intro or standard. There's just too many limitations on what you can do. And with Sweet, as you can imagine, you get the full on Ableton Live. So to me, if let's say I was getting into it, even though yes, I do suggest getting the intro Ableton Live at first, just because you're like, all right, you know, I'm just gonna get started. I'm not sure if I'm gonna like this or not. But if you are like, look, Mark, I'm really serious about music production, just go with Sweet. Because the last thing you wanna have happen is you're working on this great record, you're into it, and you try to do something else, and the intro or standard says, hey, sorry, you can't do any more in terms of the tracks or something like that, because you don't have the full-on Sweet. The last thing you wanna have happen is to be creatively almost hindered because you didn't do the Sweet model. And I wanna stress, Ableton did not ask me to make this video. I just have to be honest, looking at these different models and, and versions and, and all the kind of different things that come with each one, the suite is just the best way to go. Now, one last big pro tip I'm gonna give you, and I've done this, and this is a big pro tip, not just with Ableton, but with tons of other music production software is email them. Contact Ableton and say, look, I love your suite model, but the problem is, I'm really tight on money. It's $750 if I were to pay all of it right now. Is there any way I can get a discount? And you'd be surprised. A lot of music production software companies say, hey, you know what? We appreciate you reaching out. We'll give you a 10% discount, a 20% discount. And the good thing is if you have the money, you're now saving 10 or 20% on that payment. In addition, Ableton has an artist program, which I'm a part of. So I actually get 50% off all of the Ableton software. So I remember when I bought Ableton, it only cost me roughly about 400 ish dollars as opposed to the 750 because they approved me in their artist program. Now it is a bit annoying. I'm gonna be honest with Ableton. That's kind of like the chicken before the egg situation where it's like, wait a minute, in order to be part of the artist program, you have to be an official artist. But if you're an official artist and you're making music and making money off that music, you probably can easily afford Ableton. However, if I were you, let's say you've been making music with GarageBand or with another free software and you're like look okay i've been making music i've had a few releases i gotta set my game up obviously ableton is way better than garage band or any other free program i just gotta get ableton contact them being like look 
I'm an artist, I've been releasing this, maybe even post some social media links being like, look, I have a big following on YouTube. I have a big following on Instagram. This is the kind of music stuff I'm releasing. I really wanna be a part of the artist program because I really would love to buy Ableton flat out and I really wanna get the suite. However, obviously, you know, just money's a little bit tight. Is there any way I could be approved in terms of the artist program? And they might approve you. And if they do approve you, you now get 50% off any of these. So the price of the standard, for example, or less than the price of the Ableton standard, you then get the full on suite. One quick side note I have to stress, they don't do payment plans for the artist program. So if they do give you that 50% off and they do approve you, and let's say it's like 400-ish dollars to get the full on suite, remember you cannot do like the six month plan. You have to pay that all in full. But for me, that's what I did. I'm like, look, you know, for 400-ish dollars to have the full on best, arguably the best music production software period, I'm just gonna pay that in full, maybe put it to a credit card and just pay it off in monthly installments and you're good to go.